For the next seven days, I'm going to train exactly like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Learning how to fight, flip, skateboard, make puns based on pizza probably. Okay, I, I am ready now. I wish you could hear what that sounds like to me with that thing on. <laughs> I was told this was a live action version of the mask. I bought it off eBay, it was like thousands of dollars. What are we doing here? Well, before I can get any kind of turtling done, I need to know exactly what I'm doing, and Mike is just the guy to tell me. Well, to be a ninja turtle is to be a contradiction. They are ninjas, and they dwell in the shadows, but they are big talking turtles. You're gonna have to be wisecracking the entire time. While I was surprised by how much Mike knew about ninja turtles, these notes were gonna guide my training. Are you gonna build a shell? Can you skateboard? I can't. Ten backflips. The secret of the ooze. That was their punishment. The most important thing that you you can do if you want to follow the advice of Master Splinter: stay in the shadows. Don't go out and make a spectacle of yourself. Unfortunate the call drop. I guess I'll never know what Splinter had to say. But I'm teaching you pretty much any acrobatics you need to learn as a Ninja Turtle. So we're gonna try and learn stuff like this. I mean, I guess it makes sense for us to start out with the easy stuff. What's next? These things are bouncy. Do you, yeah. Try to like have your arms up at the beginning. Yeah. And then you're just kind of like, almost like you're just leaning forward into it. Apparently there's three types of flips in Jeez. flipping in general. And the first one's a front flip, which obviously I'm pretty good at. Side flip. You're essentially just setting like a front flip. Yeah. And you're leading with one arm and tucking and it'll eventually make you side flip. Okay. I got a little lost there. Now the turtles do a lot of front flips and side flips, but besides that one... I go forward. I just turn my hips. Like you were saying, this bad guy. So you're like, you're coming into the scene. And you land here like this. And the bad guys are on the other side and you're like, I'm here to take you out. Actually really good. So. Here's an application of it. So about this one, yeah, <clears throat> you guys don't need to see me do that, right? Like you get it, I could probably do it without having to sh oh, <laughs> Told you I didn't want to try it. Yeah, this is easy as shell. Yeah, let's see it. What are we doing? And then while Zach was explaining me all the details and intricacies of the backflip, I just, I just went for it. Tough. Open when you start to feel yourself flip. And while I did get the backflip, you guys know the rule about the backflips and the punishments and stuff. Hey, ten backflips! They did back- they actually did back handsprings because back tucks were probably hard in the suit. Yeah, the suit. That's why it'd be so hard for me too. Don't run. I'm worried about hurting my fingies. fingies is I have four okay. fingers. I don't have two really strong ones. Let's go! Woo! I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is a different color when I got in here. Oh, really? The shirt? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was actually white. After completing my punishments, I went home, showered, got relaxed, refueled. And got back into the right headspace. So far, I would say training's going pretty well. Um, not the best at some things, but, you know, I'm trying not to let it get under my shell. The flipping and stuff, actually, I'll be honest, I kind of impressed myself a little bit. I'd say I'm feeling pretty athletic, you know? I'm also pretty green. The sponsor of today's video is AG1 by Athletic Greens. This was kind of honestly pivotal to this video because of, you know, AG1 is essentially a one-stop shop to help with your energy levels, your gut health, your immunity, and helps replace supplements that you might not be getting or might already be getting, but from like 17 different sources. I would say that my plates are usually pretty meaty and potato-y, so this is something that I like to take every day, and frankly, it's pretty easy to use. Having these things in your body isn't just like, oh, what are my vitamin B levels? These things benefit your focus, your hormonal support, your cognitive support, kind of shaped like a turtle. Your stress management, and now a lot of people wonder where turtle power comes from. And technically speaking, it doesn't come from this because turtle power doesn't exist. This, this is actually good for you, but this is pretty green, don't you think? Also, it just tastes so good. 
So go to the link in my description, and along with your first purchase, you get a year supply of D3K2 and five travel packs. AG1 provides your body with everything you need for optimal performance, so please make sure you check out the link down below. Thank you to you guys for supporting me and my links whenever I have them, and big thank you to AG1 by Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. I have, to, I have to get back into the turtle costume now, don't I? Okay. <sighs> Good morning, my most turtliest ones. My back hurts from last night. My, my shell. My shell hurts from last night. So we've got Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu today. Hopefully nobody notices it's me when training today. I know I'm supposed to be discreet. This thing is squeezing so tight on my head. I feel like if I were to turn into a turtle tomorrow, I would want to know Jiu Jitsu. I mean, just think about it for a second. Always a surprise. <laughs> What's a turtle's biggest weakness? Being flat on their back. <laughs> and being flat on your back takes up a decent portion of jujitsu, does it not? And to be fair though, I think if I was a ninja turtle, I would take off the mask. It's incredibly hard to see in these situations. Snapping on these fools. I mean, like turtles. <laughs> This guy right here, who I pretty much have exactly where I want him, is Coach Corey. <laughs> He's a Donatello belt or something in jujitsu, and which means he can put me in arm bars and put my head wherever he wants to, pretty much. I have now successfully overcome the only challenges of being a turtle. That and I did bag work, which means at this point I'm all turtled out. Sorry, tuckered out. I'm all tuckered out. And of course, by now we all know, say it with me, the best way to recover is pizza and television. Who the heck is that? Wayne Gretzky? On steroids? Okay, so next up, obviously, we have to do the Ninja Turtles base martial art, ninjutsu. So the Ninja Turtles, when you look at the weapons that they were used, they were probably not ninjutsu. There were some definite tools that were similar. There was a thing called a jute, which was similar to a sai. There's okay. a thing called a kusari funda. And when you look at the methods that the Ninja Turtles used, specifically sort of the acrobatics and that sort of stuff, mm -hmm. wasn't necessarily what the, the true ninja would have wanted to do. Well, that kind of puts a damper on the whole video then, does But we can it? show you how to fight like a ninja. That would be terrific. All right, so um, one of the first things that the uh, ninja... That <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at myself in the mirror with this back. Don't fight it. One of the first things that, that you see in ninja-style martial arts that I think is unique to it is this ability to defend and counter-strike with the same weapon. Turns out you're a pretty big Ninja Turtle fan too. How did that start for you? In third grade, I went to an assembly at school. The guy who ran the karate school in my hometown, Terry Rich, was one of the stunt doubles for some of the Foot Clan scenes and some of the Shredder scenes even. <laughs> That's crazy. So you got recruited by the Foot Clan. Hey, you want some SIGs in music? Yep. And you were like, no, I'll be a turtle though. <laughs> See, ninjas weren't exactly flipping and jumping in you know, outwardly kicking people's butts because then it would give away that they're a ninja. And also, they're only using like half of these weapons. Got it. Now, does this help if you have two toes? So yeah, the, uh, traditional footwear in Japanese uh, martial arts are these tabi or these split toe shoes. We tend to not wear them as much. You're not born with them. You're not born with them. I don't think turtles are born with two toes either. I could be totally wrong on that. Totally. You know, first he outpuns me, which I can accept, but then he roasts my mask. As cool as that was in the comic book, like it, it, uh, it's not really doing anything. Can I, can I outfit you with a real ninja mask? Sure, that'd be all great. Right, all right. So I've got two pieces. I do. I have one. I keep it ready all the time. <laughs> okay. Pull it tight. Yep. Go ahead okay. and tie it in the back. Just just simple overhand knots. Oh, fine. is that it? Okay. That's it. If I was a ninja, my mom would probably do this before I left. Would you be able to tell I'm a turtle from here? No. So these are the traditional tabi of Japan, except these are made out of rubber. It makes it easy going in and out of Japanese houses. You have to take your shoes off and on. They are a little squeaky. <laughs> Quite often they'd have like a sleeve that would cover that, you know, a ninja would have like sewn like uh, metal bars in for hitting or for mm. weapons and that sort of thing. You look uh, pretty official. I say I'm gonna go outside, but I'm just gonna wait till it's dark because mm -hmm. otherwise I might, I might draw a little bit of attention. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> So who is your favorite turtle? Day four. I've done a fair amount of keeping myself in the shadows and not really being recognized in public, which, you know, happens all the time. Oh, nope, sorry, that is not true. Um, I did go to a baseball game last night. There was actually an opportunity for me to stop crime. Um, somebody stole second. You like that? See, day four was super knowledgeable about ninjas, but I didn't get a lot of turtling done, so... 
I've got here the old GameCube Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think this is going to be the best way for me to replicate some of their moves, kind of learn the weaknesses of the opponents, figure out how the weaponry works. I want to get into the bodies and the mechanics of the Ninja Turtles. I really have to study. So, one second. Oh my gosh, hold on. He's just spamming. What the heck? Stop, why is this game so hard? Oh my... Golly. I might need a little bit more help than that. So, I asked one of the most well-known karate practitioners on the planet if he could give me some help with these weapons, except there's a little detail he doesn't know about, that this is for a Ninja Turtle video. I don't know why, but the, <laughs> the idea of this is a prank. It's just perfect, right? It's just it's just such a good prank. Anyway, step one is how to hold the Sai. Grab the Sai and put one thumb as support. So we got high block, inside block, and low block. No, so you're doing it from the... Okay. <laughs> okay, one. Are you left-handed? No. No. Yep. <laughs> so the Okinawan police would use these. If you're a lower ranked police, you would have the bow or the staff. And if you're a high ranked police, you would have a sai. So imagine it's like a baton. You would actually smash and then control and hold the criminal. And thrust. Yes. And uh. yoid. And that's it. Okay. I didn't even get to make my favorite joke. <sighs> Do you get it? Because I sighed. There are two types of nunchuck. Usually you would only have one unless you're Bruce Lee. Are you Bruce Lee? No. What if I'm, what if I'm Michelangelo though? What if I'm Mikey? <laughs> I'm not even gonna reply to that. <laughs> the nunchuck is known as a kakushibuki in Japanese, which means it's a concealed weapon. So you don't want to flash it and show it to everybody. Very important is to hold it at the end. If I need to catch it, I can just do this, you see? Just open the hand oh. so you can easily catch it. Yeah, yes. That's it. Yes, perfect. Two, one, catch! <laughs> After you catch it, Release, and now side strike. Yes, but then you could also use this middle part, the string, to catch or even choke and do takedowns. So this is not like a typical Okinawan, at least, weapon. Or no, weapon so system, you, would right? not, you would not see a, an old karate master using those, right? That right. looks like something out of a movie, to be honest. <laughs> First of all, the basic fighting stance, your passive hand is at the hip, and the tip of the bow needs to point at the opponent's throat. And then we're gonna do a front hand thrust, which looks like this. So that's almost like a jab. Do that again. See that? Jab. No, nope. no, yeah, it was just so fast. <laughs> was... We got back hand thrust, front hand thrust, and Block and reverse strike. Dude, that's it. Did I get it? <laughs> I'll be here all week. So I actually have a confession to make. <laughs> okay. All of this information is something that I was very serious about and I wanted to know. Okay. But there is a slight joke. Okay. A slight prank. This video is, um, this video actually is, um, I, tra I trained like a Ninja Turtle for a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's such a good idea. I agree. Actually, I should make a video about this. Day six, I didn't have anything scheduled, so I just did what Ninja Turtles do for fun. Okay, so hear me out. Ninja Turtles are big, right? They've probably broken skateboards. I'll just do something else.
is so hot out. <sighs> Kind of makes me wish I had a sewer right now. And now I've really only got one day left. I've done ninjutsu, I've learned how to flip, I've mastered every weapon that the Ninja Turtles use. I've yet to create any sort of bond with my brothers, and I've also kind of got like a, an existential sensei crisis where um, I've got like five splinters. Not like from, I do have hardwood floors. No, like teachers. I don't know who's, who's my sensei. Now there's only really one thing left to do, and that's to make all this work. Well, to be a Ninja Turtle is to be a contradiction. They are ninjas and they dwell in the shadows, but they are big talking turtles and they can't seem to keep their mouths shut the entire time that they're doing anything. It's turtle time. You're going down, dude. This is my work outfit. This is my work uniform. Okay, we're ready to kick some butt. Major League butt kicking back in town. Ugh. Sacrifice throw. <laughs> oh no! I just pulled guns. Turtle kicking off your back. My, my one weakness. Why the turtle? I feel like I'm pretty turtly. You're pretty, yeah, you're kind of turtly. Would you say? If genetically altered, that would probably be your bodied animal as well. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I probably would be a great big turtle. <laughs> Michelle of what I used to be. <laughs> My back's been hurting lately. It's a little stiff. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, you didn't go anywhere. What did you say? Oh, it's fine. I can still see. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Wait. <laughs> Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Good stuff. Appreciate it. Got disheveled. Do I look disheveled? Bossa Nova. Bossa Nova. You didn't Chevy Nova? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Pork rinds? Pork rinds. At any point in a man's life, he is one of the turtles, and throughout his life, he will at some point be all four turtles. When people think of Ninja Turtles, they're typically thinking of Michelangelo. Cowabunga, dude, you know? Fun loving, eating pizza, riding a skateboard. But they're different people. They're, they're different people. That's an important thing I wish more people understood about the Ninja Turtles. Alright guys, I just got home from my final Ninja Turtle test. Got a call from Splinter actually. He said that I am officially a Ninja Turtle. Kind of like an honorary thing. He sent me his pizza. I don't know how he knew that I would want pizza after such a momentous occasion. Um, but you know I'm here for it. Subscribe or I'll kick you.